Balakadin 2024 Executive Agent Colonel Miko Logico confirmed that the new Philippine Air Defense System Spider Philippine Air Defense System, SPADS, will participate and be tested as part of the exercise. No further details were provided apart from confirmation. The PAF ordered three batteries of the Philippine variant of the Spider Air Defense System which they call SPADS, which looks like a combination of the traditional Spider Mister and the new Spider AIO variant. So far two batteries have been confirmed delivered, with the third battery expected to arrive in 2024. As part of ReHorizon 3, the PAF as well as other major services are expected to acquire more medium-range air defense systems as part of the comprehensive Archipelagic defense strategy. In another first, the annual war games between the United States and the Philippines will test the Israeli-made air defense system during their drills in central Luzon. Colonel Michael Logico, executive agent of the Balakat in 2024, confirmed Tuesday that Spider, surface-to-air Python and Derby, air defense missile system will be used in that military exercise. The Department of National Defense signed a deal with Israel's Ministry of Defense and Manufacturer Rafael Advanced Defense Systems for three batteries of the Spider in 2019. The agreement worth P6.8 billion is part of the AFP modernization program's Horizon 2. The first two missile batteries arrived in September 2023 while the third would be delivered this year. The Spider Air Defense Missile System is designed to protect critical installations, land-based fixed assets, mobile platforms, and friendly forces from aerial threats such as combat aircraft, attack helicopters, drones, incoming missiles, guided munition, and rockets this year's Balakatan exercises between Filipino and American troops would include an integrated air missile defense exercise is one of its highlights. In a press briefing Tuesday, Balakat in 2024 executive agent Colonel Michael Logico said the activity would be held in central Luzon, where the Armed Forces of the Philippines AFP, will use its Spider air defense missile acquired from Israel. Yes, we will be utilizing our own newly acquired weapon systems from the AFP modernization program, and we are going to test the interoperability between our weapon systems and that of the United States, Logico said. Asked whether the exercise will involve live firing, he said, it will be both live, virtual, and constructed. Logico said they would also be testing the command and control dimension during the drills. This year's Balakatan is slated from April 22nd to May 8th. Spider, also known as the ground-based air defense system, is the primary weapon of the Philippine Air Force's PAF, 960th Air and Missile Defense Group. It is a mobile air and missile defense system designed to protect critical installations, land-based fixed assets, mobile platforms, and friendly forces from aerial threats, such as combat aircraft, attack helicopters, unmanned air vehicles, incoming missiles, guided munition, and rockets. In certain cases, it may also be used to neutralize surveillance threats. It is classified as a medium-range air defense missile system and is capable of low-level quick reaction interception. Aside from Singapore, the Philippines is one of two countries in Southeast Asia that operates this advanced missile system. The Spider is an acquisition project under Horizon 2 of the AFP modernization program. Logico said they are looking at the possibility of Batanes as a possible site for the Balakatan exercise. He added that they are venturing away from our traditional training areas, such as Fort Magsese in Nueva Ecija and the Colonel Ernesto Rubina Air Base in Tarlac. Now, we are actually pushing out into key locations throughout the country, primarily in the north and also in the west. These are locations that we can adequately perform joint operations that mean the involvement of the three major service components, the Army, the Navy, the Air Force together with our treaty allies, also the United States, he added. Logico said that aside from central Luzon, they would be doing maritime exercises west of Palawan. Besides the AFP and participating U.S. military units, other participants for this year's Balakatan include members of the Australian Defense Force. Aside from the participation of the United States forces from USINDOPACOM, Indo-Pacific Command, we are also going to be expecting the involvement of the Australian Defense Force and also the French Navy. We have also sent our invitation to the Japanese Self-Defense Forces although right now, I have not yet confirmed if they have accepted their invitation to join us in the exercises," he added.